Yo guys, welcome back to the PC Joe Displays video. Today, guys, we're taking a look at a Gengar Dragapult deck here in our new standard format. Um, before we do get in the video, though, I do want to th thank you guys for 10,000 subs. By the time this video is uploaded, I'm assuming I have reached 10k subs. We are like 20 subs off when I'm recording this. So I want to thank you guys for 10,000 subscribers. Um, it's just amazing to see the growth in the channel just over the past year or so. Um, it's been keeping me motivated, and, and the dream of doing content creation full time, it's coming, it's come more true every day. And I just want to thank you guys for that. All the new subscribers, all the new support, um, all the support in my videos. Just the growth in the channel. It's just been amazing to see, um, and it's kind of poetic because you know uh, I'm going to be moving out of this house in like a month and a half, and I started my channel here, uploading Call of Duty videos on my phone, which was pretty terrible, and. Um, it's funny because I was, I'm leaving, I reached 10k subs, I, there's something poetic about that. Uh, but really just, the nice thing about having YouTube right now and, you know, all that good stuff is that YouTube has been able to kind of keep me distracted, um, really from the whole, just how bad this year's been, you know. It's just been a bad year for me, a lot of just stuff has happened that's just not been good. You know, I'm moving, basically kicked out of the house, um, my dog passed away a few months back, just... It hasn't been a great year for a lot of people, but just in general, it's just been a bad year. And really being able to do YouTube, having to keep up this energy and this like personality, it, it's been helping really keep my mind off things, keeping me as positive as I can be in this day and age. And uh, I think showing that the effort, the growth, the daily uploads, all that positivity, all that energy I put into my content has paid off in a big way. We're at 10k subs now, which is just amazing. It's a great milestone. It's an amazing milestone. I gotta thank each and every one of you who has ever subbed to the channel, ever liked a video, who um, has ever commented a video. So thank you for that. Um, I do want to say there will be a giveaway um, for reaching k subs. I'm gonna be announcing it on my Twitter. Follow that, by the way. We're getting close to 500 followers, and also on the community tab, I am gonna be posting a giveaway announcement. It's gonna be a pretty big giveaway. I'm gonna, there's gonna be multiple multiple winners. Um, that will most likely happen either this weekend. Just gotta sort things out, talk to some people, and we should be able to get a giveaway going. It's gonna be a, you know, multiple winners. It's gonna be a good giveaway too. Like, there's gonna be some good prizes, like Secret Energy, V Maxes, stuff like that. Just, there's gonna be some good prizes. So, keep your eyes out for a giveaway um, very soon. Follow me on Twitter. I'm gonna post on my community tab too. So, keep your eye out for that. Now, of course, guys, I wanna give a shout out to our sponsor, Card Cabin TCG. Also, not only that, I don't know if I could have reached 10k so I was really without the support of Card Cabin also. So, I gotta thank everyone at Card Cabin TCG too and all that good stuff. But, of course, shout out to Card Cabin. If you guys are ever looking for any PTCGO pack codes, make sure you get them over at Card Cabin. If you guys are still looking to pick up any Darks and Blaze codes, pick them up over at Card Cabin TCG. If you get any Darks Blaze codes from Card Cabin, guys, use code LDF at the checkout for a 5% discount on your purchase. It supports the channel, helps us out, and helps out Card Cabin TCG a lot too. Shout out to Card Cabin, guys. Check them out and use code LDF. So let's take a look at the Dragapult Gengar list here. Um, now this is the list I'm rocking with. Now there has been some interesting changes have to, that had to be made to this idea. Now this deck never really took off, but originally this deck did used to play bulkier uh, Pokemon that could be scuba netted um, and healed with Gengar. But the only problem is is those Pokemon rotated. Giratina, Prism, Lunala, Prism were what I was talking about. Now really the best thing we have is Giratina, which is honestly not terrible. It heals 120 technically and it does have an ability that is really good with scuba net. So it's actually not that bad of a card to have in this deck anyways. Like being able to scuba net heal Giratina and also use the ability to slow the opponent down. Especially when you're playing something like Dragapult. It's actually not that bad of a combo. It's to be honest, this card is a pretty good card in this deck. Um, there's some really cool things I am playing. I am playing my Lotic. I am testing this. Not too sure how I like it just yet, but the whole idea is you have five second Pokemon in play. You use Gengar, put 20 damage on each second Pokemon, and then you heal 20 from each of them. So it's a great way to heal a lot of the damage. So my Lotic might actually be really good. I might even consider bumping this up to like a two of, uh, just because of how good the ability is. I am playing an Ndidi though. It's another way to heal. Uh, the only problem with my Lotic is you do need to have a lot of Psychics in play. We are playing a Crobat, it's just needed. I'm trying not to play too many non-Psychic Pokemon in here uh, because we can't afford to bench too many non-Psychic Pokemon, especially when we try out the Milotic engine. Uh, I am playing a Marshadow. Another interesting card is Marshadow, being able to put 70 damage on and then resetting hole to heal it. And you know, you're discarding, but you're taking damage off the board. So that's why Marshadow is in here. Not to mention resetting hole could be good if you're running into like a Black Market or Wonders Labyrinth or something. Um, 6 HP Ghastly, I'm playing a Haunter too. Not too sure if I really need the Haunter, um, but I am using it. This is the list I'm playing. 
kind of going to try to skim through things pretty quick. Pretty simple stuff. Scoop net to heal gear, Tina. I uh, got two switch in the deck. Got an air balloon. Uh, supporter count, pretty straightforward stuff. Um, might want to play more draw supporters, but overall, that's what I'm rocking with. I am playing a cape of toughness, a couple of cape of toughness. The main idea behind this is you put this on Giratina, you give it more HP so you can heal more damage with Gengar, uh, or you know, move more damage to it and then heal more of it off. So cape of toughness could be good. I know you discard it, but it still lets you heal more damage. And then we got four uh, horror energies, of course, and then six figure psychic. That's it for the list. Let's try it out and see if we can win some games with Dragapult Gengar. <laughs> All right, guys, getting into our first match with the Dragapult Gengar deck. We are up against another psychic deck. Uh, Mewtwo and Mew has been getting popular, so this could be a Mewtwo Mew deck. We'll see. Um, oof, we get a lone Tina start. Not a good hand. We have no way to get Dragapult. We have, we could get a Ghastly. We could get a turn two Gengar in play. We'll see, though. Uh, looks like we're playing against Mad Party, which is a very easy matchup. We just need to not have a bad hand. Um, I just got the pass. There's not much I can do, but this matchup should be easy. Um, especially with the fact that we can take multiple prizes with Dragapult. We also have access to the heals. Like, I don't think they'll ever do enough damage to one-shot me, so hopefully we can get set up here. I probably have to do Marnie. I mean, maybe I do research, though. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I mean, Tina might not live the turn. We do have 130 HP, though, which is quite a bit for them to try to hit, so there's a chance Tina's safe. How many mad partiers? Oh, maybe not. They just got rid of four mad parties off the research. Oh, God. And they hit the Bunnelby. Great Ball gets them a Sinus TK. Maybe they won't knock me out. Great Ball again. Okay, they're hitting all their Great Balls, apparently. Okay, we'll see what they get here. I mean, they could go to Dene, which... Oh, they get it. Oh, no. Oh, boy. And they had the Twin... They just had everything in their hand, didn't they? Okay. Good to know. Oh, they don't have a knockout. All right, they're not doing it any. Let's see who we draw. Okay, we got the Dragapult. That's that's a start. Um, I genuinely, honestly, just research here. I don't really care to Marnie them. Not nah, we'll Marnie them. I don't want to do research. Let's just go Marnie. We don't have the Denny in their hand. We can actually slow them down here. There's a Giratina, which is good. We didn't get a Ghastly, unfortunately. We do have a Tina here. Might as well do that. Um... Might as well do this too. Just pass. Yeah, pretend short. We might as well just do this and pass. Yeah, I mean, if it'd be better if we get two horror energies on the Dragapult and then they knock, they attack me with Mad Party, they knock themselves out. Oh, they hit an E radar and two rhymes off my Marnie. Oh, I gave them the busted hand. No. <laughs> I gave them a busted hand and they get a Rose Tower. Oh my gosh, I gave them an OP hand. If they get two more Mad Partiers off that Rose Tower, bro, they got two more Mad Partiers. Are you. Bro, bro, I marnie them into the best hand they could have gotten. Oh my gosh, that ain't good. Well, there's a chance they do with twin energy here. We'll see. Hopefully, they prize the twin or two. That would be the best case scenario for us. They're knocking me out, so there's that. Don't they get a hapu? Well, if they don't get a twin here, that's good for us. Hopefully, they don't get a twin energy. We'll find out, I guess, if they do. We'll find out. We do need to get Gengar in play. The next turn though in order to be in a good spot if we don't get gengar in play we're gonna be in a lot of trouble all right hapu do not get a twin energy they're taking quite a while to play the hapu there's a chance they didn't get twin energy here which is good for us we'll see if they get there i am working on my own mad party deck um i'm tweaking it with something to do with wheezing and dugong um okay quick ball oh they can go crowbat they are out of research now which is pretty good to dene quick ball again okay Oh, and they had a Crobat. Well, if that doesn't find them Twin Energy, I don't know what to tell you. If that doesn't find them a Twin Energy, I guess they maybe could have Air Balloon the active. Yeah, they have a T-Break 2. They have literally 10 cards left. Yep, there's a Twin. Dang, bro. Oh my gosh, that's so cheap. Yeah, we're in a bit of a pickle right now. If this Marty fails us, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. How much are they doing? 220? Yeah, we can heal a lot of that damage here. We just need to... Uh, we just need to find a Gengar. Hopefully this Marnie doesn't fail us. That's what I'm kind of worried about here is Marnie doesn't get us what we're looking for. Can we draw something good? No. I was going to say, because we draw something decent, we could have played the Rose Tower. I guess we could play it, but we'd have to play Switch. Nah. Let's just Marnie them. Maybe we're putting two twins at the bottom of the deck. Oh, we whipped the Dragon VMAX. 
Oh my gosh. Well, we'll go here. We'll play this. Oh my... Uh... Dude, what? Oh my god, I literally didn't want to attach energy to the active in case that happened. Oh my. Of course I get the trick. <laughs> okay then, I see how this is going to go. Do I evolve the active is the question. Is it worth it? We're not knocking him out. I actually think it might be worth it to just to knock him out shred here. We are going to take a lot of damage though. I can't believe I actually do... That is insanely hilarious that I actually drew the dragon there. That's funny. Okay, we got a quick ball. We can try to dig. I think we're trying to dig, try to get a Gengar down this turn. We have to. We have to, have to, have to. Yeah, I can't believe we actually drew that there. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. I wasn't gonna, I literally was like, if I attach the active, what are the chances I actually get a Dragon VMAX off a Rose to one? And of course, um, I don't know what I would have done though. I guess we would have put 50 damage on a Poltegeist, maybe. Or we would have maybe put on the Dedenne. So I don't think I would have wanted to knock out the other Bunnelby. I don't think there's a point just yet. That sucks though. I can't believe I actually drew that. That's hilarious. That's actually hilarious. Oh man. Alright, well, we're still fine. Oh, they got a boss on my other Draga. Yeah, that's not good. Hmm. So now we just have the one Dragapult. We have to try to keep one Dragapult alive the entire game. That's their first boss too, which is not good. Oh my gosh. I can't believe my luck in this game. <laughs> it's been something else. All right, let's go quick ball for Crobat. We need to try to get a Gengar down this turn. Or at least attempt to. Well, I guess I could play Rose Tower there. Oh, well, we got the Gengar. We didn't get the uh, Rare Candy. We didn't even get a Research. All right, we're just going to Marnie again, I guess. Still didn't get rare candy Gengar. Okay then. Well, we did get Honor, which is something, I guess. Not even. I'm just gonna fail that and Rose for one. Oh, let's go. Okay, we got a bit of a better hand for next turn. This is good. Uh, we can do this. We can I got the Bunnelby? I guess. Not got the Bunnelby. Nah. I want to put three here, one here. And I guess like maybe like one here. I don't know. Let's set up the damage a little bit. See what our prize is. Our shadow. We can play that to get rid of the Rose Tower. Not gonna make a difference though. See how this goes. Not having my low tick does suck, but it, research should be able to get us maybe a couple scoop up nets. We have a Mar Shadow we can do too. Um, so we can draw a scoop net here. That'd be great. So I can heal the Tina, bench Mar Shadow. Do a bunch of stuff. Like, I don't think they can ever one-shot Dragapult, but I don't want to risk them, like, having some ins Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have put 20 damage on Bunnelby so that they can't attack me with it, because then they'd get knocked out by Max Phantom, or by the Horror Energy. That actually should have been what I did. I think it was fine, though, to put damage on the Poltegeist, though. I think it's fine to still put damage on the Poltegeist. Just, you know, so we have the option to knock it out with Max Phantom. All right, here's the fun part. We got to heal 280 damage. <laughs> Okay, we didn't draw, we didn't draw Scoopnet. All right, well, we got to heal 120 damage here. 280, 260 damage, sorry. So that's a lot to ask. I was thinking maybe knock out Ghastly to bench the Mars Shadow, but then they just got a boss and they win. Oh, we didn't get a scoop up net? Dude, rip, we didn't get a scoop up net. We still didn't get a rare candy either. Would have liked to have seen a rare candy there. So I can get another Gengar in play to have more HP to work with. That's unfortunate. We do have enough damage. We have enough HP to move around. But we really need to find... We really need to find a scoop up net ASAP. If they play Tool Scrapper, that's going to be pretty bad. Because we have to put all the damage on the Tina mostly with the Cape on. I guess we should have played the Cape first before I move this. And I got to reattack. Okay, whatever. Wait, it is what it is. It is what it is. We have 100 and... We have a lot of HP. We have to be able to move all the damage around. It just sucks. Maybe we could play Champions Festival in the set alongside my low tick. Would not mind that. All right, we got 20 more damage left to move for now. Click done. Cape. Look at that. If they play Tool Scrapper, though, they could probably win it. They have a Tool Scrapper boss next turn. All right, 50. 150. 160. All right, 10 more damage. And before they play Roxy. Well, oh, they have the Mew option, I guess. So we have to be a little careful. We'll just put the remaining damage on the Indeedee. Actually, 
Well, I don't care if they knock out Giratina. I don't really care if they... Okay, they just concede? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright, we had a bit of a slow start there, but we were able to kind of just pick it up. Once my opponent realized we can heal all the damage, not much they can do. That's why Dragapult Gengar could be really good. When you just sponge hits like that, heal the damage. Uh, Would have been nice to set up my Lotic there, but it is what it is. Turning in the next match, I've actually taken out a Switch and a Giratina, and I've thrown in a Mewtwo and a Research. I feel like the one thing this deck was lacking was supporters, because there are so many times where I keep dead drawing. I really want to get this video done too because I don't have a lot of time to record because I've been super busy all day with this whole moving crap. So hopefully we can get this video done. But yeah, I just want to update consistency a little bit. I feel like the deck was just lacking the consistency. Plus Mewtwo can be used with Gengar and Scootinet, so it's like no-brainer. But I didn't want to use it at first. Um, I'm going to go first. I mean, yes, we're playing as a Welder deck. But I need to get an energy attachment onto our Pult, which isn't going to happen because we didn't get a Dragapult. Or an energy, sorry. We do have a Marshadow and a... I think we start with Marshadow. Alright, we'll see if we can find energy here off our top deck. I guess we could go Crobat, but then we have to hope that then get a Dragapult. I don't know if I want to do Crobat. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Alright, we can do both Crobat. Now, the only problem is we're playing against... You know. You know what we're playing against. We're playing against my boy ADP, the, the balance deck. But I guess we have to do Crobat. I hate to do Crobat against ADP... I might just get rid of research because we can use this to get Gengar next turn if we draw our candy. But I'm actually now, you know what? We're gonna keep the research. I don't trust. I don't trust my draws today. I'm, I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna get a support off this Crobat if I get rid of research. Told you. We did get energy though, which is good. So that's important. We can just pass. Our hand's pretty good. Um, we have the Haunter. We don't need. Well, they're not gonna be attacking me just yet. Hopefully, anyway. They get Tornal Creation. Rip us because Crobat's a sitting duck. We had to put it down in the worst matchup possible because this game. The way they designed the standard format, it makes it so you have to play aggressive. While no alter creation this turn, they did attach an energy, a metal energy, so they can't go water, which is good. That's good. Might just sit back and do Intrepid Sword. We'll see. They could get Zamazenta, but then of course we just put five damage on it. We can do Shred. Zamazenta's not too scary. As long as we just don't put double horror energy, but we aren't because we already have a Psychic, so we're chilling. Yeah, the Gozation. Okay, well, they get to draw three cards, and they're probably going to find an energy or two for the Zacian here, because that's how Zacian got printed. We'll see what we do. I think we're going to air balloon the Crobat. We could air balloon the active, too. I don't mind that, either. We'll see. Mawa? Okay, that's actually not a bad target for our Dragapult. I'm fine with this. They, we have no base in our hand anyway, so they're not putting anything in play. They could Marnie me here, because they know my hand now, which I don't like. They probably have a Marnie in their hand, right? They're going to Marnie me, get rid of my busted hand. And then we're going to get a bad hand. We're not going to get a supporter. And then we're going to be in top deck mode. And then we're going to get 80 p out of the game. No, okay, no Marnie. Re Intrepid Sword. They're definitely going to get an energy or two here, unfortunately. No, they don't. Right, reverse Psychology always works. That's how you That's how you win games. Oh, nah, I wish we got Marnie because we would have drawn another research. All right, well, that's cool. So, we'll uh, Air Balloon. Actually, we'll Air Balloon this. Scoop up Net the Mars Shadow. Bring this into the active. We'll bench the Mars Shadow, obviously, and we'll just research. Hopefully, we get energy. Nice. No supporter for next turn. See? Where are they at? Where Where are my lovely supporters at? I just don't get it. All right, we're just going to hit this for 130. And we're just going to get damage on the Zacian, obviously. Well, supporters do not like coming to my hand today, apparently. We might get Marnie, though, which hopefully is the case. His hand is pretty underwhelming, so I'm hoping we see a Marnie from my opponent. Because this hand doesn't isn't very good. We didn't even get Mewtwo. Oh, they're gonna boss? What are they bossing? They're bossing a Crobat. Hmm. They could ultimate Ray me this turn, but that can't knock me out. I don't know why they bossed up the Crobat. Well, I guess what are they doing? I guess they're gonna move this ADP into a new but then we just win the game by knocking up two ADPs, which I guess is our win plan now. I don't know why they bossed up the Crobat. Well, I guess we can't get an extra energy in play, which I guess does kind of suck, but it's not like Dragapult's can't knock down anytime soon. Alright, there's our Gengar. Stone will support her, but at least we can move the Crobat here, which is good. And they did waste a boss. That could be good down the road if they don't have another boss's order. I think we still want to put four damage on this. Or I guess maybe, you know, maybe, I don't know. I still want to attack this, because this thing will still attack me, and we want to be ready for it. I guess maybe we should put then 20 damage on my well. I don't know. 
They didn't even need an energy last turn to attach. I, don't, I guess they have a bad hand. I guess maybe their hand's just clunked up full of like items they can't play, like saucer and stuff. Unfortunately, our hand is dead too, so it's not helping. Hopefully, we see a Marnie for my opponent, though, next turn. That's what I'm hoping for. Hopefully, they Marnie us. So if, if they do Ultimate Raimi, though, or Brave Blade, or uh, Willy Bite, Wily Bite, whatever the heck you call it, we're chilling. I guess we don't draw a draw supporter. Drawing a boss would be pretty big, too, so we can knock out Zacian ADP. Oh, never mind. They're just going to switch anyways. Okay. I mean, yeah, we're in a pretty good spot here. Get <laughs> Dude, what are these top decks? I'm just going to hold the hand. Just We'll bench this and just do Max Phantom. Okay, put 20 here. Naga the ADP. We'll put put a couple. Spread out the damage a little bit. The reason I want to put damage on this cape of, in case of a cape of toughness. Oh, there's our out to find a supporter. There's a cape of toughness. There's an energy for uh, Dragapult. All right, this is fine. This is fine. We have the Gengar set up. So what we can do is we can move the damage. We can put 60 on Marshadow. Um, oh, they're going to Marnie me. Okay, never mind. I was going to say, we can put 60 on Marshadow, scoop up net. Six, I don't know. We're chilling. We got a boss. Uh, well, we actually just win here if they attack me. We just knocked them out with Max Phantom. This is a really weird game. Marnie or Eldegoss, they can get boss. We have game, though. They have to attack me with Mawile. No, all right, they just lose. All right, cool. What a weird game. What a weird game. I'll take a dub, though. It's ADP at the end of the day. Beating ADP in my books, it's always a win. It's always a win. So they take the 20 damage. They have 120 HP left, and then we just knock out Max Phantom. I think we'd, we'd still win the game, even if they... Because we have Gengar. We're moving 180. We can do a lot of stuff here. Um, if we really wanted to. But yeah, I'm just going to Max Phantom knock him out. Not going to slow roll. Don't feel like using Gengar's ability because they'll probably concede. I don't really feel like slow rolling them. I mean, they're playing ADP. They kind of deserve the slow roll, but I'm a good man. I'm a man of good science. I'm not going to do it. Well, we did price two supporters, so I guess that explains why we couldn't get a supporter in the mid game there. Um, We do win the coin flip, which is good. Ah, uh, go first. Yep. Well, I guess we do have Shred. Uh, maybe Decidueye is not too bad, actually, because we can heal. We have Shred available to us. Yeah, maybe it's actually not as bad as I expected it. We'll see. Okay. No Ghastly. We have Arcane but no Gengar. Our hand is not bad, though. We have a Marnie we can just play, I think. Oh, they're playing Butterfree? All right. Quick Ball for Ghastly. Do we have Malolana? We do have a Switch Malolana. The only way is we can get rid of Switch Condition. Um, I guess one thing we maybe do have available to us. We can move the damage and try to flip for Confusion. I guess. There's not much I can do about that, though. I'm not really a fan of getting confused every turn. It's going to be very annoying, but, you know, we could have some luck on our side. I'll see if we draw Gengar one time. I'll take it. No, okay, it's not bad. We got Haunter. Got Quick Ball. I'm going to get rid of Cape of Toughness. I'm going to get... What do I want to get here? We're definitely going to Marnie Neck. Actually, we could probably research, right? We could probably just go Mewtwo and then research. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. I don't really want to do Marnie. They didn't do anything with their last hand. Alright, let's go Max Phantom here. Hit for 130. We're gonna have the Gengar, so next turn we can move the damage. We'll see if my opponent sticks around, unlike that Mad Party deck. So I'm hoping. I just want to get this video done. I just haven't had a lot of time to make a video in the afternoon when I usually record. So my own recording's a bit later. And here we are. Here we are. Right, they got a Butterfree. Yeah, we're gonna have to do special conditions for now, but that's fine. We can move the damage and try to keep healing and then we can try to go for the max phantom looks like i'm actually going to use my low tip it's pretty cool all right they got a research they get to play the game we don't have to worry about them conceding i like to see it Ooh, not a great research for my opponent though they didn't do a single thing all right whatever all right cool beans um okay i don't really want to do crowbat we're just going to research Let's see what we get here didn't get my low tick. I would have liked to have seen my low tick. This game's going to flip through attack. Alright, luck might be on our side after all. We got heads immediately. That is hilarious. That is hilarious. Alright, let's see what our prizes are. Research. Alright, we're going to probably Marnie anyways. Okay, another energy for another pull. Okay, cool. Alright, we'll see. Hopefully they don't concede. Uh, but we got the Gengar in play. Just move the damage. I would like to get the my low tick combo going. We'll see how this goes. They can't attack me this turn with Butterfree VMAX, so they gotta get a switch or something. Ooh, they hit me with a Marnie. 
Hmm, we might get a bad hand here. We don't have many supporters we can draw. We got, we got a Malana though, which is good. So we got one of our switching cards. We have to sacrifice an energy though. We'll see. I think we can still flip to attack though for now. They're not doing a lot of damage anyways. It's not, again, as long as they're not one-shotting us, we're, we're okay. Let's see what our top deck is. Boss. Okay, I'm gonna go attach. And I think I'm just gonna go for Max Phantom. It's gonna flip to attack. Okay, we get Tails. All right, next turn they hit me. We'll heat. We'll move the damage with Life Shaker, or we could just do Malana. It doesn't really matter. They could Marnie us again too. We'll see. Which actually, I wouldn't mind that. No, it's gonna hit me with the G Max Tox Breeze. Okay, I'm looking to see if we can draw something here. We can get my low tick, which is pretty good. Unfortunately, we do not have access to our boy um, Crobat. Would have been good to get Crobat there. We can move all the damage, though, which is good. We're going we're gonna to do this. We're going to go 20, obviously 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 with the damage counters. Can't move any of my low tick, unfortunately, which kind of sucks. But we get to show up this little cute combo, which is kind of cool. Get to heal. I might boss this, to be honest. Oh, that's a one retreat. Never mind. Okay, well, let's just do this. Let's move the damage around a little bit. They could have a, uh, they could have a possible boss in their hand. They can knock out my Gengar. We don't have another Ghastly in play yet, which is kind of concerning. Could be an issue. How much HP do they have? 180. Yeah, let's put damage on this. Don't really care if the Mewtwo goes down. Well, I guess it would be good to scoop up net it, but that Marnie gave me a bad hand. It would have been nice to be like, play scoop up net, though. But next turn, we'll do... Um, next turn, we will Malalon. I'm just going to put the remaining damage onto the Dragapult here. Yeah. That's fine. I think we can win with one Dragapult VMAX. I'm actually okay if they do a boss on that, but they're probably going to end up bossing the uh, the Gengar anyways. Hey, we get heads. Let's go. Hey, let's go. We actually got to show up the combo, too, which is pretty good. Okay, we're still in top deck mode, so that's not ideal. But uh, we got Malalon. As we get Malalon next turn, we'll have to retreat something. We'll see what happens. And before they play Zigzagoon. Oh, it's a G-Max Tox Breeze. Okay, then. They have 10 HP, so they hit me again. They get knocked out. Ooh, the scoop up net. Ooh, you love to see it. So what are we doing? So we can, we can do this. We can put 20 on Gengar. We can actually, we can make a few things work. We can't play Malana, but I'm okay because, again, they attack, but they get knocked out, so they have a choice not to attack me. Um, we can do Bright Heal. All right, cool. Uh, no, I guess we can Malana. We don't have to, though, because we can heal most of the damage they do. So we can go put 20 on Mewtwo. And we can scoop up net the Mewtwo. Put it back down. Finally get a support. I'm just going to take research, whatever. And then we can keep putting damage. We can put literally a perfect amount of damage on Mewtwo. That is hilarious. <laughs> this is the combo for you. And again, if we don't attack them, it is what it is. Well, we could retreat. Just knock them out bite, I guess. Yeah, let's do that. Let's knock them out bite here. Might as well. We're going to research next turn anyway. So it's a good chance we draw well off research. And then next turn, we can we can even just mount on it back into the Dragapult. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. About the spot run right now. This feels pretty good. This is kind of the deck for you. The Milotic combo is really good. Uh, let's put a damage on this case, please. Zigzagoon or something silly. Um, we could just actually Malana now. Yeah, let's do Malana. Just retreat. Go back into Dragable VMAX. No, but then we can retreat back at the VMAX next turn if they hit us with special conditions. So we might as well just attack them here. But I guess we could hit this for 130. Nah, I, this is fine. Another Dragapult. Yeah, they just concede. OP combo. Unfortunately, we didn't really get much of a supporter going in that last game at the end there. But, I mean, we still got the ideal Milotic Gengar setup, which I wanted to show off at least once in this video, which is pretty cool that we got to use it. Uh, we could buy a pack from the shop, which we might as well do too. Get ourselves a little Dark Blaze pack here. Just keep, to, just keep trying to see if we can pull some goodies. And that'll wrap the video, guys, on the Dragapult Gengar deck. I hope you guys enjoyed today's PTCGO video. Um, today was a bit of a chaotic day for me, so... I'm just glad I was able to get this video done for you guys. And I want to thank you guys once again for 10,000 subs. It does mean a lot to me. And I'm excited to see where the future, what the future holds for us. Oh, oh, the God Pack, Reverse Hollow, Mr. Rhyme, and a Charizard VMAX. 
Holy cow, that was a good pack. All right, anyways, yeah, I'll wrap up the video here, guys. Dragapult VMAX Gengar, really cool deck, awesome stuff. Anyways, yeah, thanks for watching the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, drop a like on the video, subscribe down below. If you're new to the channel, help me on the reaching 10, or 11,000 subs. Gotta get used to saying 11K now, or 10.1K subs. Um, check out Card down below. Again, if you get any code, use code LEF. Check out my Patreon down below. If you guys want to play as a month for exclusive content, be sure to do so. I'll see you guys in another PCO video. Peace out. Thanks for watching, and thanks for 10K subs. Peace out.